Now, what would you like to do? Eight-year-old twins Jodie and Jessica are just two of more than 100 children that have been picking up their lunch at this youth group during the Easter holidays. I like going there because there's amazing food and I get to see all my friends. Through. You like can get crisp or hot food or you can get a sandwich and you can get a treat and a chocolate bar. Some people like rely on the school lunches and then struggle, give them something basic for dinner or whatever, but so many times it's going, it's what you've got to do to survive. The Tain Youth Group Cafe has been a linchpin for many families in the community in the past. In the summer of 2019, they provided over 500 meals. By 2021, the demand had increased 10 times to almost 6,000 across six local villages. They say with more people finding it harder than ever to make ends meet, the service is vital. And he says, such a combination of a lot of factors hitting families all at once. You know, we all know those reasons, higher fuel costs, higher electric bills, higher VAT, and of course the national insurance is going to be kicking in now. So I think it, it's slightly different now because everything is literally happening all at once. The organisers have just been awarded £750 from the North Highland Initiative. They're more than grateful, but say high demand means unfortunately they'll always need more. If we were to do the 5,000 again, there was nearly 6,000 again in the summer, we need a, a vast amount of money uh, to make that happen. Because it's, it's not just the food, it's all the packaging. and So they get a choice of a hot meal, they get a choice of you know, sandwiches, there's fruit. So you know, we make it as a balanced diet uh, or a balanced meal as we possibly can. Some children who've seen the benefits firsthand are now also volunteering at the cafe themselves. It just gets me something else to do during the day and uh, helps me and other people. Nicola McCallie, STV News.